Shalom, and welcome to Branch of Israel. This is Rabbi Roger coming to you from God's beautiful country, Israel. I have this hunger and driving desire within me to want to know God's Word from the deepest depths. I hunger and thirst to know and understand Him and His Word in such a way that it goes beyond all of our wildest imaginations. So as I was praying this week to get something for today's broadcast, I was drawn to read Isaiah 53. I noticed in the Hebrew in verse 6 that it begins with the same word and ends with the same word, all of us. Now the rabbis say if God uses the same word twice, he's trying to get our attention to tell us something. So let me read this to you from the NASB. All of us, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way. But the Lord has caused the iniquity of us all to fall on him. Because of the emphasis, it should probably read something more like this. All of us, like sheep, have gone astray. All of us has turned to his own way. All of us has caused our iniquity, our sins, our problems, our issues, our sicknesses, and diseases to fall on him because the Lord allowed it. Now, there's a word in this verse that I want to focus on today that I believe will help to emphasize what the Lord did for all of us. And that word is fall. In the NASB, it tells me that this word is literally to encounter. Before I go any further, I've said this before and I will say it again. This is why it is so important for you to learn how to dive into the word and not just trust your translation. The word encounter does not do this word justice, especially the way it is used in the Hebrew. Let me give you the definition from the Dictionary of Targumum, the way it is used in this verse. It means to cause suffering, affliction, as in to strike a man, to entreat, which means to petition, request, plead, implore, or ask. So you see already, before I get to the root meaning of the word, its usage alone is very deep. Yet speaking of that, let's look at the root paga and see what it means. To strike against, to come in contact with, meet in a hostile sense, to attack or strike. According to Gesenius's lexicon, the word strike means a covenant with anyone to make peace with him, such as in Isaiah 64, 5. However, the strikes, the attacks, beatings, sufferings he went through were for all of us, and no exceptions to the rule. All is all. Each strike of the scourge was for all of us. Each blow and attack was for all of us. Do you get the picture yet? Now, just sidetracking before I close, the rabbis know the meanings of this word and yet do not and will not read Isaiah 53 throughout the year because they know who Jesus really is. This is all part of their conspiracy to avoid knowing Jesus as their Messiah. For more teachings and information, visit branchofisrael.com. That's branchofisrael.com. Again, this is Rabbi Roger coming to you from Israel. Thank you so much for listening. Lehitrod, goodbye or see you again.